If the ocean's not healthy, we're not healthy. One of the greatest threats to elephants today. They'll be able to take photographs, idea. videos that are GPS located, immediately upload to Google Earth, and use this as a way to protect the forest. Defenders of Wildlife is a national nonprofit organization that is dedicated to protecting all native species in their native habitats. At the end of April 2010, there was an explosion off a deep water well in the Gulf of Mexico, which resulted in a huge oil spill that still hasn't been contained. And there's been tremendous impacts to the coastline areas as well as wildlife and habitat. Defenders of Wildlife had already built a map-based tool called the Conservation Registry to track and map conservation projects across the country. And when the Gulf oil disaster happened, we decided to use Google Maps as our platform so that we can highlight what's happening in the Gulf so that people have a better understanding of where impacts are happening. Google Maps is an incredibly user-friendly tool that um, is familiar to many users. The map allows users to view projects and map layers in Google Earth. So users are able to fly into an area to see what work has been done and what some of the impacts are. People can see where sea turtle nesting sites are, where there are existing oil and gas platforms in the Gulf region, as well as access satellite imagery. If you click on any of the points, it'll give you a really brief snapshot of what that project is or what that impact is, and you have the ability to click through to the detail page so you can find more information about that specific impact or project. But you also have the capacity to see the projected spill over the next 24 hours, the next 48 hours, and the next 72 hours. Making things visual for people on a map really helps relay the message and the impacts of the Gulf oil spill. It has a lot stronger impact than them just reading a news article on the topic. We're hoping that this site allows people to find opportunities either to volunteer or contribute other types of support for the relief efforts that are happening in the Gulf region people can actually enter information about what they're seeing on the ground uh, and tell people where they're actually working on the ground to restore the area. There's a lot of people that feel helpless because they don't know how they can help. Um, and the Gulf Oil Spill Recovery Site is a way for them to find information on ways that they can help volunteer their time. This is one of the worst environmental disasters that our generation has seen, and we're going to continue to see the effects of this disaster for decades to come. By using the website, it empowers you to be able to understand the scope of this environmental disaster and find ways to help out so that this doesn't happen again. <laughs>